Hey y'all, good morning. I am coming to you today. It is a beautiful, wonderful day off here in the hills of West Virginia. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I am out and about. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification. I do do daily videos, as you guys know, so you may want to make sure you don't miss those because they do go up at different times. Uh, anyway, I am on my way to my mother's house. Um, so, you guys, I'm taking you along with me, and she is making us a lunch of hamburgers today. So, I have to stop and get a few things at the store so I can make sure I stay on my keto journey. Um, but anyway, I'm glad that you chose to click on the video and hang around with me today. Um, might get into some shenanigans. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here, but I will see you guys on the other side. Bye. Hey guys, I'm just checking back in with you. Told you that I would once I got to my mother's house. So I'm here and we have started with the hamburgers. And I was going to tell you guys something so funny. Um, I'm always eating avocado and talking about avocado. So my mom was like she wanted to try some. She tried it in guacamole but never just avocado. The look on her face when she tried that, it was priceless. It was hor She didn't like it at all. Uh, my husband says it tastes like grass. So he's not a fan either. But um... <laughs> so you missed it. It was great. Wish I could have showed you guys. But anyway, made it over here and I have my hamburger made here and this is a uh... So if you guys heard that, that was actually my mom was making french fries for the for them and the pan was warping in the <laughs> the oven. So that's what that was. So if you heard that, I had to stop. But anyway, uh what I've done here, let me go ahead and show you is I have my hamburger and it is on lettuce. I do have, there is pickles and tomato under there. Pickles, tomato, the hamburger, pepper jack cheese, and I have another thing of lettuce I'm gonna put over top of it. And then I have my avocado. I was gonna put the avocado on here, but I don't think I'm going to. Instead, I'm gonna eat it separate on the side. But this looks absolutely amazing, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I will see you guys a little bit later. So, That'll be it for me right now. Bye. Hey guys, just checking in with you. I am at the pizza place that I told you about that makes the fathead dough. And I did take a picture of their menu, which you guys should have saw just a minute ago. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the food. It looks uh, absolutely amazing. Um, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. So I will see you guys on the other side. Okay guys, so this is a fathead dough and it is um, a Philly cheese steak ham wedge. So you can see it's got the dough, but it's got the peppers. Or is that pepper? Yeah, peppers and onions. Yeah. Pretty much anything that you'd have on a regular, um, Edge. sorry, I'm just eating on that, a regular uh, pillow cheese steak, but it's made into the fathead dough wedge. Um, and my friend Marsha, she got the ham wedge, so I'll go ahead and show you that one too. And that, I don't know if y'all know, I explained what it was, it's kind of like a, it's just two pizza crusts basically made into a sandwich and there's ham and mayonnaise and tomatoes and lettuce and did you get onions? Banana peppers. No, banana peppers on that. So that's the fat hit though. So I'm very, very happy that there is a place that makes this kind of food that we can, you know, eat. So eat out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in with you. This is my friend Marsha. Wave to the camera, Marsha. Uh, she's the one that told me about the place here that we just ate that has the fathead dough. So um, it was really, really good. It was like super, super good. I didn't plan on eating it all, but I ate every bit of mine plus some of hers. Uh, but anyway, uh, I want to go ahead and let her tell you just a little bit about her keto journey because we all have one and it never hurts to hear other people. So, Marsha, if you want to go ahead and just tell people what your keto journey is about. Sure. Um, I started in about the end of September, and I had gained a lot of weight before that. I'd been on prednisone to boot, which wasn't a good thing. And um, I've tried all kinds of diets before. I even had a lap band that failed and had to have surgery to have that removed. And um, so far, this has been the best thing as far as losing weight and losing it gradually and keeping it off. It's been hard. Some days are real hard. 
but um, since September I have lost about 53 pounds. I weigh in on Mondays. I won't weigh every day because it freaks me out. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, I'm just happy to be on the journey and I'm thankful for all the help that Kim and Billy Joe and them give us and for our site that we can go to and find out questions and answers. And like she said, this was the best ham wedge ever. So anyhow, that's all I have to say. Thanks. <laughs> okay, thanks Marsh. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this for today. I'm not eating anything else today. I think two hamburgers and what I had today really, you know, did me in. But anyways, uh, anyway guys, I will see you later. Take care and keto on.